All right, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of ARK. I hope you all are having a great day. So, today, chat, we're going to focus on trying... We, we, well, hold on, let's just let's get into this so we can uh, discuss. So, I did get the game moved over to uh, Steam, as you guys can see. Uh, I didn't really add any mods. Uh, the, the only mod I even looked at that was even worth adding was the S... Plus the structures plus mod, uh, so that was the only thing I changed, and I, I think I got the spyglass. I, I still haven't made it, but I didn't want to over mod. I want to play this like this, and and you know, not sit there and try to get too deep into the modding world. Uh, I feel like I'm still too new at the game, but <clears throat> I ha I was uh, just releasing my dinos out of their pods just so they could heal up. Uh, yeah, well, please. Yeah, I wanted to give him a chance to heal up. It says that they are... They should be in range of the uh, feeding troughs, right? Yep, that one is... This one actually is not. Let's get him to come a little closer. Now he is. Want to make sure that they're all within range of the, the feeding trough. That way they can eat. All right, let's get this one out. What? Uh, we want to definitely make sure that they are on neutral. So I'm going to go ahead. Uh, now, I wanted to get some new dinos today. Because we went ahead, you know, we got our, our base better. Our base is a little bit better today. Um, but when it comes to... Um, when it comes to the... Whatchamacallit? The, uh, like, actual end game or caving and stuff like that we have very very low level dinos and you guys are like hey you know go focus try to get some dinosaurs blah 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 so we can start doing some breeding and that's what i want to do if we could find a male high level t-rex and another thyla um that would be ideal um like super super ideal uh yeah, so the cryo fridge thing really isn't a big deal for me only because I'm on single player and the game only runs while I'm playing. And 30 days is a really long time. So I got a long time to build one of them cryo fridges. You start talking. Uh, uh, so I can't do that, George, only because when uh, it, that would work for live stream. But when it comes to everybody else who watches my stream after, there would just be 20 seconds of me sitting there and 90% of the people are going to click off the video. Um, so no, it's just, it's just, it's one of those things of live streaming, man. <clears throat> yeah. Having like a 20 second thing where I'm just kind of sitting there. I already have like an eight second thing, you know, sitting there and it's already awkward enough. Yeah. You always got to think about the playback quality, uh, when it comes to live streaming, it's easy to sit there and think, you know, about it while you're streaming. But yeah, when it comes to playback quality, that's. That's what truly matters on YouTube. All right, so we're going to actually keep two of these on us. Um, Omni tool. Change your rifle. Okay, so we're going to head over towards my traps. Um, oh, because I, uh, because I switched things, my map data didn't come over it's fine uh, we know where the trap is we're gonna actually head over to our trap and uh we're gonna try to get it like i said we're gonna start with trying to get a thyla so we'll bring this with us now the thing is with the grappling hook right is the thylas can they chase me up the tree <laughs> that's my that's one of my worries is can that thing chase me up the tree I actually might make some more grappling hooks too on our way out. 
No? Okay. Well, we used a lot of our darts on our last outing. Got parachutes. Grab these. <clears throat> Oh, uh, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna do this, because I'm gonna make some more of these. I'm, it's a good chance I'm not gonna need them. Okay, so we got the... Had to get the engram for the arrows, and... We're gonna go ahead and craft all of these. My this Agni with the veteran of official PvP arc severs, and it warms the cold hardened cockles of my heart to see someone experiencing the game for the first time. Don't forget to get water tamed as well. Yeah, we gotta work on that, my agony for sure. Um I did have a water tame and it, it ended up getting killed. But yeah, I definitely would like to get me a water tame at some point. And Vale with the super chip, tame a Bronto equipment platform saddle. Berries for years. Tame Bronto, equip platform saddle. Berries for years. Tame Deodon, AOE heals your tame. Tame Baryonyx, breed for imprints. Best Dino for cave. I don't. I, so where do we find these Baryonyx, chat? Like I don't even know what they look like. Like what the hell is a Baryonyx? <laughs> no, yeah, move the camera. I always forget, chat. I always forget. Like, what is a Baryonyx? Like, I don't, I don't even know what the hell, hell it looks like. Swamp? Oh, okay. Well, the swamp is actually pretty close to where we're going to be anyways, so. All right, so I got food. Um, We'll have water over there. I'm going to grab one of my... I think we're going to just bring our fast flyer. Okay, so I'm going to repair the gun really quick. Got that. Uh, we'll repair this. Just short a little bit of metal. I thought, thought I had metal, chat. Uh, maybe in here? There we go. Like, dude, I could swear I had metal. Alright, let's go ahead and repair this. Alright, so with all that, I should be good. I have more than enough food. Uh, this should be more than enough stuff to sleep. To keep things asleep. Uh, oh, grappling hooks. That's what I want. Yeah, I wanted to make a few more grappling hooks. I gotta make the uh, S plus smithy, don't I? I'll worry about that later. For right now, I got the two grappling hooks. That will have to be enough. <clears throat> and the uh, you don't have things in your inventory to craft anymore? Yeah, I have... Uh, well, I got... I have my uh, stuff inside there, but I had to relearn all my ingrims because we went ahead and uh, used the mind wipe last episode. I actually need to get a little bit extra food for Judy here. Split 
this down to 50. We gotta make sure that Judy's got some food. Alright, let's do it, chat. So, does cooked mutton work uh, for Thames, chat, fairly well? I know you guys were telling me um, to use the raw mutton, but I don't have any of that. Does cooked mutton also work better than raw meat? So I do got, I do have some cooked mutton. Oh, just for Thylas. Got you, got you. Fast flyer's nice, but we are gonna... Mm. Not worth it, chat. Yeah, we're gonna need the tankiness of Lisa, aren't we? Because I can, I can pick up the Thylas with, uh, with Lisa. Yeah, I'd just be better off. I actually start dumping some health into her. Yeah, we gotta have Lisa. Just, you know, if I grab the the Thylas, we, we need we need the tankiness. You guys said Baryonyx are in the swamps? Moist, how you doing? I watch on YouTube now. Hey, Sneaky, I'm glad you're enjoying it, seriously. Chat, what the hell does a Baryonyx even look like? And already, chat, almost 200 likes on the stream. I really appreciate that. An angry iguana raptor? Is it that thing with the really thin, long nose? It's like the kind of has like the alligator face, and it's kind of, um, yeah, yeah. Okay, I actually have seen some of those in the game. There's that freaking Quetzal chat, the tech one. Still don't know how the hell we're gonna claim this thing, but. allows you to pull resources in a radius from storage boxes to craft what you need there's also a transfer tool omni tool 
So you can just move items from a dyno to storage easily. Oh shit! Face. That's dope, baby. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to I'm gonna be looking more into that mod. Um, so I got, the the thing with the mod is uh, to make it work for you have to. Oh, I think that might be one right there. Nope. Um, you gotta rebuild some of the facilities. I already did it with the fabricator earlier. Ooh, is that a Thyla? There's a Thyla right there, chat. What level is it? Keep this damn... Oh, I think it was level 45, right? Yeah, I'm like more than positive that said level 45. Why every time I'm out here hunting, looking for something, chat, it's got a, it's got a ring. We'll head back over near the trap. I actually feel like I've seen some of them over near my trap area. Look how freaking foggy it is, Jack. I can't see anything. Literally, damn near zero visibility. I legit cannot see. They, this ain't even fog. This is legit the mist. Thomas, my day's been good, man. Day has been good. Fog's starting to clear up. Alright, so that was a no right there on the Baryonyx front, at least in this area.
Scan the trees in here, try to see if we can find a high level Thyla. Now, uh, it's, it's, it's funny because, uh, I see people say start on another map. Um, I actually was looking into the maps because uh, I actually have access to more maps now than I did before. I don't know if I didn't actually, I didn't, I don't think I actually had all the DLCs on the last one, um, on, on, uh, Epic, but, uh, being cautious because I don't want to get jumped on here, chat. Um, so I was sitting there and I was looking around. I was trying to figure out, you know, what is because I seen this one map. It was called the Lost Island, and I was like, oh, uh, is that like the island? And no, it's it's something completely different. But I kept reading these things about people saying that they started on a map called the Center, like it's a good starting map, and I never even heard of it. I'm like, what the hell is the Center? Um, and people are saying it's like an alternate starting map. Uh, but everybody says uh, all the stuff I read, people actually say that the island, it's a nostalgic map and it's fun, but it's extremely unbalanced and all of the bosses are extremely unbalanced compared to the, the rest of the game in single player. Um, I guess the island is very, very badly balanced. Um... But obviously, I don't know because I've never played on any of the other maps. Uh, but everything I said, seen uh, people are saying Island is very unbalanced when it comes to dino spawns. The spawns are off. The the bosses. It's I, I guess it's actually a really hard map for new players um, because there's not very many good base locations. There's not. Uh, the dino spawns are really, really complicated, and people said that you have to rely a lot on... It was shit I've never heard of, like, mutations. I don't know what mutations mean, but people are like, oh, due to the dino spawns, you have to worry, focus a lot on breeding and mutations and stuff like that. So I guess this... There's there's a Thyla. Nope, that's not a Thyla. Uh, Terry with the super chat. Start on Fjorder... Oh uh, yeah, so that, that that was one of the things I seen about the island map is that it's like really it's a, it's a pretty tough map compared to a lot of the other ones. Not that it matters to me. I've been survive. I feel like I've been doing a pretty decent job on this map. Even though I can't find a damn Thyla. This is always so sketchy, chat. I was petrified of this area when I first started playing, and I'm still pretty damn scared of it. But yeah, if we could get like a level 100 plus Styla, that would be awesome. A fine one is gonna be level level ten. Watch That's how this works. I actually think there is one right there. No, maybe not. That is the thing, uh, now that the Christmas update is gone, all the dinos are back to their normal colors. And the Thylas have really good tree camouflage. I 
Yeah, like I said, we'll definitely be checking out more map chat, but before we do that, I definitely want to make sure I check out um, even... Uh, I want to make sure that I'm, I'm in a good position. You know what I mean? If we're going to... Now, I, I did decide when I move to a new map, I don't want to, like, bring a ton of stuff with me because I, I don't know. I, I feel like each map is probably unique and has its own little grind and stuff like that. So I think I'm just going to bring, like, maybe some basic stuff, you know, like stuff that we worked for in this higher level tools better weapons might bring a little bit of that with me but i'm not gonna bring like all my i don't think i'm even gonna bring all my dinos with me i'll bring a couple but i honestly thought about starting fresh when it came to dinos but i don't know i might i might just start completely fresh on every map um when it comes to gear now levels i am not I'm not going to redo my levels, though. I, I will, like, if anything, I'll just go over there with just armor on. Um, and maybe a mount. That, that's it. map has shadow mains my favorite dino Harry with the super chat i don't even know what shadow mains are that sounds sick though uh but terry thank you so much man i appreciate it i've not seen a single thyla constantino so my day is going good man It's a red drop right there. We're going to get our hands on that. And touchdown already? Oh, there it is. So it's coming down now. We'll get, we could fly around this area, see if we could see a Thyla. Stay around this drop, though. Never would have thought when you're actually like when you don't want thylas, right? They're everywhere. They're on every tree. They're always trying to kill you. I want one. Nowhere to be found. It drops almost down. Nice. Whoop. Wait. Where did gear go? Up there, there. Actually, I dropped it on the ground. Yeah, where'd that saddle go? Yeah, 
Yeah, I went to pick it up and I accidentally hit the, the drop button. It's 80 armor. Hmm. Could be right over here somewhere. Well, that sucks, chap. The reason people told you the island and the other story maps are hard is because the spawns are skewed towards lower levels. So it's hard getting high levels for breeding to do boss fights. Lisa, thank you. Uh, RVG with the super chat says, "I would say, yeah, I plan on doing the maps in order uh, for sure." And uh, Vale, yeah, I appreciate that. Now I don't, like I said, I, I, I don't mind um, at least trying to succeed on on all the maps. You know what I mean? Now, obviously, as you guys can see, it's, it's not as easy finding dinos. As one might want, but, uh... Hey, it is what it is, right? I mean, granted, I could probably find a Thyla a little easier if I was willing to take more risks, but... There's one. Damn it. Well, I, I changed my settings last episode, chat. Um, and I pretty much had it infinite day. I don't know how I did that or what I undid. Now that I'm on Steam, I had to change the... Uh... Yeah, see, I had night speed all the way up, day speed... I think I had this at point two, this all the way up, daytime. Well, I, I just get rid of, I, I get rid of, uh, I get rid of night for the stream purposes. Um, I cranked the gamma to try to help out, but I can only do so much. What was that? Arno. Oh, my pego is dead. So I did see a Thyla right in front of us somewhere. And then it went nighttime. See, this is Gamma 3, chat, and this is still super dark. Uh, let me see here. Eight. Oh, come on, move. Damn, chat, it literally was right over here. I swear I seen one on the tree. Oh, there it is. Nope, that's a leaf.
I gotta figure out how I did that last episode chat, how I got rid of night completely. Oh, I lost it. There, there, I see. Auto. It is. Those little glowy yellow. Oh. The glowy yellow eyes are the the trudens or whatever, right? The ones that put you to sleep. I, I knew that was going to happen, chat. And yeah, the one we did find was only going to be freaking stupidly low level. It's actually kind of easy at nighttime because uh, you can make out their uh, silhouettes on the trees. Hold on one sec, Chet. Uh, but yeah, at nighttime, it's actually kind of easy because you could kind of make their silhouettes out on the tree. Unless they're on the side of the tree that's facing you, then uh, not so much. It's uh, no luck, chat. So we'll head back. Now, will the Baryonyx, are they like in the swamp in the swamp or something like the outskirts of it? So I can't get a Thyla then.
don't know what I did, chat. Like, why has it been night so long? Uh, I sped up. I slowed down the cycle. Just out. Watch out for uh get a giga. There's no I we look for a giga. Um I had no luck on uh finding one of those damn things. And even if I did find one. Am I going to be able to tame it? I Man, I can't even find a Baryonyx, chat. I feel like I'm all up in the swamp. Ah, uh, D-Skip, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate you. How you doing today? Yeah, do you think me putting my knight on zero made it infinite knight now? <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> that's what I thought. I was like, it should have for sure changed at this point. Let me see if that works. Forever night. I got Ark on Steam, yep. Yeah, it's I know it, it, it's it's definitely tough, chat. Definitely tough on you guys uh, on the stream to see what the hell's going on. Uh, oh, I, I think that's a Baryonyx right there, right, chat? So, yep, that's so. That's what the Baryonyx looks like. That one's only level twenty, though. Okay, so that's what we want. Just a way higher level. Now, the Baryonyx, can you bola that thing? It looked like it might be a little too big. Uh, Baryonyx and Swamp north of the Redwoods. And this way, too. Alright, sun's finally coming back up. Uh, Val with the super chat. Thank you so much. 
A baryonyx and swamp. Yeah. So north. I I, I don't recall. I don't even recall there being a swamp to the north. But. Trying to think of the layout above it. I thought it was a river. But no, yeah, very well could be a swamp. Alright, much easier to see. Camp Bola. Alright, got it. We'll just be fighting these ones with honor then, chat. Now, what makes them so good in caves? Oh, there's a Baryonyx right there, I think, stuck. Well, 15, chat. It's the worst thing. It's these low levels. I got the difficulty crank, chat. We got the max thing cranked. I'm a super high level. Got a gold drop here that I'm definitely about to grab. I might do a I might dino wipe real quick while we're grabbing this drop. Grim structure, cryo fridge, lamp post, and then this is a saber tooth saddle, a journeyman saber tooth saddle. You guys said the saber tooths used to be really, really good. Um, Really good dinos for caving, right? Until Thylus. Also in the, in the market for a level 100-ish T-Rex. So if we do end up spotting one of those. Best way to hunt Thylus is to just run around the redwoods until one jumps on you. <laughs> Those beehives get me every time I get excited. I see a beehive and I'm like, oh, there, and then it's, I think it's a Thylus and then it's not. Uh, Baryonyx is great for water caves. They have a stun ability underwater. Yeah, I'm gonna be. I, I, I was gonna take my Thyla that we currently have and go run uh, whatever cave it was that you guys said was to the southeast or the southwest. But I wanted to get a freaking some teams, man. The male T Rex is definite goals.
Baryonyx is great for water caves only, they have a stun ability underwater. Thyla is great overall and Megatherium is great for Redwood's cave. Yeah, I got a Megatherium. He's not a high level though. Um, I do wish he... I think... We gotta go back to base. I do have one. Uh, but I think he's only like level 60 something. There's a Spino chat. Level 70 female. I think the one we have is is a female also. So I think we're in market for a male. And that one only being level 70 really isn't it. Because when you breed dinos, right? They breed based off of the, what, the base stats of the dinosaur. So if I have a level 60 Thyla and a level 70 Thyla, even if I level them up to, say, level 150, okay? And then I do breed them, it's still going to, uh, is it going to base it off of its levels or, or what? How, I don't know how breeding levels work. Base? Okay. That kind of is unfortunate. I've seen you guys saying to kill that Spino. I don't think my RG could kill the Spino, though. That thing is still going to hit like a damn Mack truck. I'll give it a couple bites. Damn, that thing is fast. Not that bad. Lisa actually absolutely shredded that thing. It's only 55. Yo, RGs are pretty damn powerful, aren't they, chat? Holy crap. <laughs> 
And uh, I do want to thank you guys for already, not even an hour in, we are almost at a, what, fucking 400 likes? That's absolutely insane. Um, seriously, thank you so much, chat. Archie Thiel is the GOAT. Do you think anybody ever did, like, beat the boss fights with just a legion of Argies? Yeah, no dialers. Oh, you can't you can't bring in an RG. Flyer's not allowed in boss. Uh, well, that, I guess that kind of makes sense. I'm scamming Rex Alley here, chat and. No Rexes so far. Kind of just scanning the trees as we're flying by to see if I see any Thylas. Is there such thing as a mount that an uh, that a Thyla can't dismount you off of? If like if I just wanted to run around the woods until I found one. Answer it, me. Thank you so much for the super chat. Run around uh, on Thyla looking for Thames. Kill. That might actually be a better strat than this. Stego. Stego. Hmm. Spino also? I have my Spino chat. Now, will will the Thyla jump down and try to attack me, though, is the question. I was actually thinking about trying to... Maybe... You know what? Maybe we should get a high-level Stego chat. Keep this damn thing. Yeah, we'll, we'll do this from the ground. Uh, I'll go get my Thyla. We'll just run around looking for... Rexes and then anything that we find that we don't want to keep. Or should I use my Spino? Because, actually, I think I might bring my Spino chat. Only because my Spino is an actual competitor for, like, competing in, 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 in endgame type content. My Thyla was pretty low level, so I actually might bring my Spino. There was a Baryonyx below me. Right there. A lot harder to make out when they're in the water. Level 10, Jet. Seriously. Oh, what was that? Did it dry itself off? <laughs> I 
I have the better spyglass. My, I just haven't crafted one yet. I might craft one when we get back to base. Just uh. I didn't know the Baryonyx would be in this uh this area here. So now we're definitely gonna keep our eyes open when we get back. But let's go swap out our dinos. Ah, uh, you know with the super chat. Thank you so much, man. Um you know, since I was hoping they'd mentioned stealth kills. To yeah, they didn't mention anything yesterday, you know, so I just, I was like, whatever, man. There was, I, I was actually pretty frustrated with that stream. Um, I don't know why they were super vague. That's why I was like, I mean, I, I get you guys don't want to give us details, but obviously you have an idea of what you want to change things to. So can you at least give an, us an idea or name a couple of things? Um, name a couple of like ideas that you could put yeah they just didn't say anything and then they said that they're not even going to put it back on PTR before they release it to, to live and I was like whatever I have not fought any bosses yet no Was hoping they'd mention stealth kills toward plague counter yesterday or an Ada for live. Enjoy art and thanks as always for content, smiley face. Okay, let's see here, chat. So we're going to rebuild a smithy up here. Let me see. What do we need for it? Uh, so I just need 25 more stone. I don't got any stone anywhere. There we go. Yeah, I, I, I changed over to S+, plus, but the thing about it, I guess you need to, um, you got to rebuild the, uh, whatchamacallits, the facilities. Oh, no, 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 stop, 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 stop. Okay, well, there, now we got two smithies. Sure. Oh, that's fine. Okay, so So where do you? Oh you, no no the spyglasses you craft in your in, your regular inventory right? Yeah yeah you craft them right here. And, I, I'm so dumb. I'm like yo I can't find a damn spyglass anywhere. It's I I, I I always get confused. I I feel like 
everything, like, you should be able to craft everything in a smithy, you know what I mean? Okay, so let's change this one. Hopefully it'll be a bit better than... Uh, cause that spyglass is so hard to use, chat. It really is quite annoying. These resources back in here now. Brandon with the super chat. Um, if you want a rune immersion, make. Well, I wouldn't even say rune immersion, Brandon. It's it, that one. Uh, that one spyglass for me. It's so bad. I can't ever even use it. Like it's just. It, 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 if there was a zoom option to it, I feel like it would be so much better. Um, like, if, But it starts in so zoomed in, I literally can't find what I'm trying to aim at. Um, it, it's so... I, I, I would... I, I, it breaks immersion for me, personally. I hate that damn spyglass. So... Oh, so it just stays full screen the whole time. We could even hunt Thylas with this, like, because it kind of highlights the dinos. What the heck? How's it already nighttime again, chat? How did I mess my settings up so bad? Yeah, it, it definitely makes things a little easier when it comes to visibility and seeing shit. Um, okay, so... Grapple. We're gonna grab our Styla, which is here. And we're gonna bring our Spino. Alright, and we're gonna use our spino. Now I wonder if I could I wonder if I can uh pet shit off the back of the thylo I or the the spino. I know I can with him. My spino is a male? Ooh, okay, so we're we're on the look for a female then. What, people are mad because I'm using- I, I didn't even install any real mods, chat. I literally just installed a spyglass mod. Because the one I had- the- it's either that or I just don't use the spyglass. Um... And... S plus because people said that it's... That's just how the game should be vanilla, I guess. I don't even notice the difference between S plus. I- like, when I installed it, I was like, well, what what's the difference? <laughs> uh, it honestly seemed the same to me. Well, everything I, I I did quite a bit of research on the mods before I installed it, um, and S plus was recommended by like everybody. People were just like, it's it's pretty ideal. Oh, let's check out the stego. Eight, eighteen, really. I'm gonna farm these up for parts, too.
10. I think there's a tile up here. Level 15, man. Everything's so low level, chat. 60, 40. was an otter over here? Stop lying. Not that little guy, right? What are these things? No, it's like... That, that was bad. Ricky with the 16 months, brother. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, I made sure I didn't add any mods that would uh, change the game. Like, I, 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 I don't mind the game the way it is. And I only, I, I, I don't even know what S Plus does, but it was recommended by so many people. I, I just added it. I still don't even know what it does, though. Um, because I added it, and the, the game seems exactly the same to me. So. <laughs> How did I get knocked off my mount? That got really, really dangerous, chat. 
Uh, and most of my armor got destroyed right there. Oh, the micro raptors? Crap, now most of my damn armor is broken. I cannot believe how freaking tanky that dude was. It's an alpha raptor here. Damn, that stego was 145. I should have checked, chat. Granted, I don't think I would have been able to get this alpha raptor off it anyways. Damn, that was a level 130 alpha. See, these are pretty... These are, these uh, dinos are pretty high level. Yeah, their levels are pretty decent. I, I don't need that. We'll drop that, that. Get rid of this crap. Get rid of that. Take a couple seconds. We're going to heal her up really quick. The Judy Killer's health is pretty low. Now, her health really isn't all that low, but at the fact... Ooh, we got a new crossbow, too. Um, I don't think it's better than the one I have, though, right, chat? I think mine is an ascended... Would I recommend Irvin? I, I, I would hold off, man. It's a really expensive game for what it is. I mean, I would maybe watch a couple reviews on it and make sure it's something you want to play before you, you go and buy it, man. Neil, what's going on? Turn chat back on screen. What do you mean? Uh, has in-game option that you can keep it on your screen. Nah, see, I don't want to do that. That That's too OP. Um, I, I don't want to have the spyglass mod just going at all times. I'm just going to use it like a normal spyglass. If I need to see something, I'll bring it up, I'll see it, and then I'll put it away. Yeah, I don't want to run around and just have auto x-ray vision all the time. Like, that's that's way too much. Uh, I'm, I just, I'm just going to use it like a normal spyglass. One that I don't have to fight with to use, though. And that's it. Uh, Casey, I'm glad you're enjoying it. And Siri, thank you so much. Um, it'd be way more fun with boots slash paws on the ground. Yeah, it, it, I feel like I uh, I get the scout a bit better. You know what I mean?
I'm gonna force feed this thing up to like, I don't know, probably 10,000. It's not even at half health right now, chat. It's crazy. Craft some medicinal brews. I don't even know what that is, Constantinos. Uh, I see a lot of people saying uh, that you can disable the outlines. I don't mind the outlines when I'm using the spyglass, but yeah, j just ha if I were to just run around with it on all the time, that that's way too much. I have it. The reason why I have it is like any other spyglass, you know what I mean? If I wanted to see what level that Bronto was, I would push the spyglass button, aim at the Bronto. It's level 70. That one's level 95. Boom, I'm done. That That's it. That's all I need. I don't need to, like, know at all times, like, okay, I can see every dino and, and just always be able to look. Like, that thing constantly popping up would irritate me. Um, I, I like to keep the screen as clean as possible. Healing brews are in the cooking pot. GG, we're gonna have to check that out. Now, the healing brews for me or for the dinos? There's an otter in the water? Now, when it comes to the otters, um, do you want them to be a high level or does it not even matter, chat? So it doesn't matter. These little dudes are impossible to find in the water chat. At least at this time of day. There he is. What's up, little dude? So how do I get him? Do I just put his ass to sleep? Drag a fish to feed. Oh. Yeah, give me that fish right there. Oh, it said drag a fish. So do I got to get like a dead fish body? Ooh, there's a thyla chat. Level 50. Where'd he go? I think I see his little head over there. No? These things are fucking... Impossible to keep up with. So I gotta get a... I gotta get a dead fish... And bring it to him. So... Would fishing be easier? Like if I had a fishing pole? Which I've still never done fishing in this game.
I'm also going to throw these boots on. So I just got to kill a fish. We'll make sure I dial some follow. Uh, whistle neutral. So this will work, right? Okay, drag body. Is that him right there? I think that's the little otter dude right there. Come here, bro! <laughs> Seriously, bro? Now my boots are broken. The damn piranha ate my dead fish body. I I, I didn't bring any freaking lethal arrows with me, chat like a damn noob. Um, okay, where'd Otter Boy go? He was right over here. Found him and lost him again, chat. Here's bro. I have four lethal arrows. This is not working out how I how I initially planned chat, but we'll figure it out. I didn't know getting an otter was gonna be so uh such a process. So I can tell swimming with the fish bodies attracts piranhas. Let me drag that one. It's stuck in the other piece of rock, I believe. There we go. Okay. Got that. All this, Chet, to get a freaking little otter, dude.
I wonder if it went back on land, chat. I think I want to run these rocks. <laughs> Unless those piranhas killed it, but the, would the piranhas do that yet? There's our two raptors we lost. Uh, they were uh, they were overweight. Guaranteed when we go to check them, they're going to be overweight. There's Otter Boy. Now, only thing is, was there... I think there was fish. Make sure there's no more damn piranhas here. Okay, I think we're good now, chat. I think we're good. Let's grab the fish. Swim up to... Oh. This game has no chill, does it? L literally zero. No, like, it's never gonna chill. It's gonna make this the most complicated. Here, here, I got a fish for you. Hey, 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 hey! Here, here! Stop it! No! Uh, I seen it pop up to feed it to him and freaking swam away. Oh, it was right there, chat. He was right there. Press Q to un... Uh, yeah, I almost died right there, chat. 100% almost died. I got no armor on. Um, All my armor is broke. I have a sleeping bag nearby, so if I die, it's not that big of a deal. Um... We're gonna stand here, we're, we're gonna let our health go up a little bit.
Yeah, we might have to. We have. To, we might have to move on from Otter Boy right now. Oh no, Otter Boy's right here. Do I have a fish? We got him. We'll get him right here. Come on, dude, stop it. Okay, I gave him the fish, right? Do I gotta give him another one? Damn, that sounded painful. We gotta give him another one? No! Bro. There it is. Holy crap, guys. That was max level effort. All right. Max level effort, chat. It's crazy. But we got it. We got our otter. Um... I feel like I should probably try to repair my armor. Uh, I do got an outpost right near here that we might be able to use. At least get my my armor fixed. So what do otters eat, chat? Just raw fish? Oh yeah, I got my raptors. Yeah, we could grab them. Otter needs fish meat. That was close. Was that I heard raptors? Alright, so we, we remember uh if you guys remember I came out a couple episodes ago with my raptor squad <laughs> and um two of my raptors went missing. I we didn't know if they died or not. They're actually right here. Probably extremely overweight. No, not even overweight. That's just lost. Next, they're not overweight at all. Hook this up. Get some metal to repair my armor. All right, so we'll have you follow.
How is she having a hard time following me? Sometimes rock is a hard place. Micro Raptor again, chat. So the Micro Raptors make it so you can't mount back up. That dude stole my grappling hook, really? No, it's fine. I'm not going to scan the freaking world for a single grappling hook. Ah, uh, they did. Okay, they, so they stun you. Hopefully we don't have too much of a hard time on this terrain keeping our raptors with us. Level 145, champ. We're gonna go around this way. It'll be easier so we can avoid the uh, that mountain face there. Why does this thing poop every two seconds? And it wouldn't be that big of a deal if all he did was poop. But when he poops, he stops. Legit stops. Level 65, level 5. I would cryo the raptors, but they drop everything. Travis, how you doing? Damn. That looks not good. I had a chat. You see that? We have a little alpha alley. My Thylos should be able to take both those alleys, though. I'm pretty sure. They're quite low level. Or is there three of them? Oh, we're fighting them now.
I was level 35. Nice low level. I, I was worried that those things were going to be super high level, but... Why would they be, chat? Everything on this map is low level. Alright. Let's see. Keep all that on us. We'll keep that on us. I'll store this crap up for right now. Okay, so I do got our... Let's equip. Let me grab my armor and this metal. So we're going to use this metal. And I think, yep, this. Cook up both of these. So that'll get us a few metal bars going. Right now we'll throw this clothes on. Uh, but we should have everything we need to repair. Uh, I have to choose one or the other. What should I get? Day one, Hogwarts Legacy or Jedi Survivor? Ooh, I don't. I, I mean, it all depends, Travis, on what you like more, man. If you like Star Wars more than Harry. Probably split this if it's gonna take too long. Yeah, we'll split this in between uh, multiples just to speed it up a little bit. Oh, that one's already. Oh, we had some. We had 29 right here. Right, throw that in there. Now, let me see. I don't even know what we need to repair this. I might need some. Uh, Fibers, which is fine. Repair. Yeah, we need fiber, metal, and hide. So why can I? Uh, can I not repair from a? Ch I have to repair on my body, don't I? No, what? Why can't I repair these? Oh, I have to have a smithy. Oh, so you can't... You can't repair in just your inventory. Makes sense. Alright, uh, I gotta build a smithy then. Which is... We should have enough stuff to build a smithy. I, I hope we have enough stuff to build a smithy. Uh, invest in industrial forge. Yeah, um... Ezio, that, that's the plan. Thank you so much for the super chat, too, Ezio. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, that's the plan. We're actually going to build that out here, but... So I need stone and wood. Okay, too easy, chat. We can build that right now. Uh, we got a little bit of stone here, and I'll just take some wood out of... I didn't bring my RG with me, chat. Yeah, my RG's back at base. We brought our Spino and our Dylan. Okay. So now, transfer those in, transfer this stuff in, and we should be able to repair. We're going to need a little bit more metal.
All right, with the super chat. Thank you so much. Every time you deal with uh, pegos, you might want to check your items. Yeah, I always, I always forget those dudes steal. I always forget those dudes steal from us. All right, all right. Let's get this stuff back on. Our armor is now squared away, chat. We'll leave our two raptors right here. So, chat, what are the beehives for? Honey, like, like, uh, I mean, it's just, just... What is it? Does the honey come in, uh, in handy later on? Oh, here we go. Nice, nice, nice. So now we got a bunch of lethal arrows, which will help out quite a bit. We'll drop that. Keep those claws. Oh, they stole my freaking parachutes, chat. My Thyla got it back, though. So, so far, this taming mission has been a absolute fail. But we're about to turn over a new leaf right now, chat. Ooh, Thyla. So the otter chat, it, it doesn't only keep you warm, it keeps you, er, it keeps you cool too. Or does it only keep you cool? Yeah, I fed my, my otter. My otter should have plenty of uh, food. Yeah, he's got 85 fish meat on him. I was like, I, say, I filled him up earlier. Okay, Megatherium is only level 40. That one is level 20. Spino is female 70, chat. Hmm.
it's probably not very good for uh, mating with my level 100, right? Both? Okay, so it does both. Not worthy. It's not worthy. Alright, let's, uh... Uh, yeah, we'll suck him back up. His inventory is... Uh, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Um, I want to keep this. These, th this, throw all this crap on my, uh, my spinal for right now. Hmm, yeah, screw it. They won 35 plus? Jesus, chat. We can't be that picky. We can't be that picky. We'll never get anything at that rate. I think I've seen, like, legit chat. We could probably count on, on our fingers how many freaking... Uh, I actually have to raise the Spino's weight up. He can't carry crap. Um, we can probably count on two hands how many level 135 plus dinos we've seen. Not Paya. Maybe not even that much, chat. I was keeping the meat because I wanted to feed it to him. Uh, try to try to see if we can get uh, the Spino's health up. One thirty-five pluses for boss fighting. Yeah, that was that was the first stego we seen that was absolutely just amazing level. This thing has so much health. I did get my spine up to over 20,000 health though, champ. Um and he's max level now though. Cause that's and we got him at no no no, we we caught we he was wild level one hundred and then I, what did he go up to? Does anybody remember? Was it one forty or one sixty? He heals faster in water. Nothing attack the Spino. Hmm. Cause yeah, he's a this Spino's uh pretty good, chat. about 11k health Spider was leveled only I don't know, doubt that thing died super quick 
I mean, granted, I am like a hundred levels stronger than it, but still. So we got a Stego 15, Stego 35, Stego 20, Stego 12, Stego 60. We're gonna eat all these dudes. I wonder, so does this, does anybody know, does the bite attack do more damage or does the stand up slash attack do more damage? I feel, I feel like the hit does wicked amounts of damage. If I stand in water, I do more damage, right? Is that a zebra? It looked like a zebra chat. <laughs> Twelve K health, we're doing pretty good. I can't but I still have uh, oh. Is that a new one? Spino ten. So when you guys say they spawn back in, they like spawn back in relatively quick. Stun dudes just came at me again. I was hoping to spot a Rex. No luck, though. So that is a 25 saber, 45 saber, 10 saber. Oh. I would be eating chat, but you got to remember, uh, my, my spinal doesn't have very good weight. So the more stuff I keep picking up, and I already have a couple spinal sales. Um, but yeah, the more I fill up, the more we're going to be SOL when it co comes up moving around. But this beach is showing us no Rex love today at all. Oh, 
Jose with the super chat, brother. Thank you so much. Uh, 135 for breeding for bosses. See, you got... Oh, see, we're overweight. But no, we're out of stamina. Hello again. 135 plus for breeding for bosses. 20 rexes of at least 25k HP, 600% melee. Need trophies for bosses also. That's huge, chat. 20 rexes. Whoa. Yeah, we gotta we gotta drop a bit of weight here. Uh what's super super weighing? Uh I think it's me. Like my actual weight is what's making up a lot of this. Right? Because I weigh 142. Well, there's a couple stacks of meat here we could probably drop. All of that. We'll heal him with this. We got 60 pounds in. Well, that's a lot of fish meat, too. <laughs> um, Actually, I should keep a bunch of that fish meat. We'll get more. For my otter. We already, yeah, we went looking for a giga before, um, but I want to actually try to make some damn progress today. That's the reason why I'm trying to hunt these things that we actually need. I, obviously, I can't, I know I won't be able to catch a giga right now. Um, so if I went and found one, it would just be, a, I'd be wasting time. And we, yeah, they're so hard to find. So we're going to head up to the swamp area. I think it's up here, right, chat? Level 25 chicken. Level 20 chicken. And female. Maybe I haven't got a spinal sail yet. So you don't get you don't get the trophies from every kill, do you? Brandon, thank you so much, super chat. Going for the normal five to six out. Yeah, yeah, we'll be we'll be going for a few more hours for sure tonight. That's a pretty good level raptor. That one not so much. That is a 40 stego and a 15 stego. So this is what you guys do when you're being super selective, you just go through and just scan all the dinos and everything that's weak, you just kill it. Savages. <laughs> Savages. I'm so confused because I know you guys said I thought you guys said that nothing attacks spinos, but I feel like we keep we're getting attacked a bunch. Forty. Got an 
Alpha Raptor? I think it is. Nope, that was just a regular pack leader. I feel like I haven't seen any, I literally don't think we've seen a single Rex today, chat. Bunch of Spinos, though. Bunch of Spinos. Might swim over to, uh, I think we're getting pretty close to Carno Island, aren't we, chat? If I keep following this river down. If I sail across over to Carno Island. See if we can find any anything good over there. And then just clear that place. Did you guys say 800% melee damage on a Spino is good? I also have my Thylo. Isn't there a cave on, um... Isn't there a cave on, uh, the island, too? I could bring my Thylo into that cave if it's not too much. To turn that poop timer down, chat. Literally, like every 30 seconds, he stops and takes a shit. Uh, when your dinos reach 50%, uh, they stop collecting. Oh. Now, we came here before. Um, way back in the beginning of the game, I didn't know what this place even was. Uh, come to find out, it's Carnivore Island, so... Yeah, it had a really good base melee. I think when we got it, it was at like 600%. When we got it. I gotta eat myself. Are Carnos ever good for anything, chat? Or are they like more of like an early game dino? Like if I found a level 120 Carno, like... Will you guys say that's, that's it's like, oh man, they'll get that. That's like really good.
That's a uh, 10 and a 30. We got a Rex. Twenty Rex, I think that says. Yeah, level twenty T Rex. Damn it, chat. I mean, I'm happy that there's even a Rex on this island. We literally folded him. Uh, I think I'm gonna grab this Explorer notes with my Isla. up really quick chat still wish I could get this dude up to max health I have yeah I have the difficulty turned all the way up chat yeah I customized it but it's, it's just the island that's what I was told it's just this map I killed a level 125 RG. I, I wasn't scanning the RG's chat. Not gonna lie. It takes forever for these dinos to uh, heal back up. Uh, yeah, I tried turning single player. It does. It does. It's just a map. Yeah, it's just a map. You make heal so you can use the healing potions on the dino. Ed Bob, thank you. How you doing, guys? I do want to say thank you for almost 650 likes on the stream. this point we should just go for a freaking uh instead of trying to get regular t-rexes chat maybe we should just try to get the ud t-rexes because in the snow biome there was tons of those guys tons of them i feel like they were way easier to find than the and you guys said the UDs are even they're just as good as normal t-rexes right Oh, UD suck at tanking. So regular T-Rexes are still, still, still the standard. I only have one Thyla right now.
health is getting way up there now. A couple. Yeah, the Daydons for the healing. Yeah, yeah, you guys were telling me about that. So then it sounds like we need to have at least one UD for the buff. But then we just want normal T-Rexes. Yeah, I, we, yeah diff, our, all of my difficulty settings are good, Chad. There's nothing else. It, it's, it's just a, it's just a map that we're on. But honestly, with 25,000 health on, on my Spino here, chat, um, would you guys say that's enough? I could probably turn my Spino to passive. Like, say I found a T-Rex that I want. I could probably turn my Spino to passive and then just have my Spino tank the damage while I'm just sitting there shooting it over and over and over again, right? I feel like 25k health is a lot. Uh, custom dino levels is the name of a mod that fixes the issue. Not if the Rex is 130 plus. That, I mean, my, my Spinal is almost level 200. Almost. Alright, so we're do this. So would you say 25k is a good like health? Like say I wanted to take this dude bossing. Um Would you guys say 25k is, is a good amount of health or would you Or w would you guys even go higher on health? The boss will smack that spinal. <laughs> dead. D E D dead. Fifty down. Oh Jesus. Yeah, we can make it level two hundred. Um go. Level 200, chat. No, I watched the video on breeding, chat. Yeah, I know how to do the mutations, kind of. Well, I have an idea of how it works, but it sounds extremely time-consuming. And I think that's why they, uh... A lot of people are saying, like, you know, do, like, th that's why the, the single player settings were set up the way they were. That way you didn't have to rely on mutations. Um, because that, that shit sounded grindy. Um, I want the, the, the video I watched, I think she, she had to spawn in, like, she was like spawning them in. Um, and she was like, yeah, it could take like 20, 30 eggs to get what you want. And I'm like, 20, 30 eggs? <laughs> Holy crap. All right, so we're almost max health. Let me hop off real quick. I'm gonna, I wanna, so I might hit this uh, cave here with my Thylo. So I, I wanna grab the, the Explorer notes with them. Any chemist worth his salt knows the irreplaceable value of testing. Until a tonic no level. is rigorously tested, it is less useful than water. If only I could persuade this island's less intellectual inhabitants to see the tests on mess.
Level 120 saber tooth chat. Oh, I thought I could shoot off of off of a spinal chat. Shit, you can't even yeah, you can't tame off a spino. I'd have to tame off my Thyla. You can't ask, bitch. Um, so maybe maybe I'm gonna have to uh tame off of my Thyla. Oh, another Tech Rex chat. What level, please be high level, please. Level 114, baby. Wait, what is it? Wild female. I think my other one's a female too, though. So we gotta we gotta whistle our dude passive. And I I, I hit him with a freaking uh normal arrow, it wasn't even a sleep arrow. Oh, I think he's trapped. Got a trap Rex chat. A natural tech Rex. Spyglass shows tarp, tarp pour. Damn, 12,000 chat? That's a lot. I stopped aiming for the head because I didn't want to do too much damage to him. Like, if you guys look at his health, his health is wicked freaking low. Um, so I was trying to not do too much damage to him. Mm. 
He's about to go down. Hey, Pop, I want to be a tech wreck. I got you, man. <laughs> Wait six seconds. There it is. Whoop. Got him, chat. I thought I had prime meat. Um, let me see if I can go get some really quick. Who's that? Uh, level 45 Rex, female. Level 80, wild female. Let me get this, uh... Did I get some prime? Yeah, we got some prime meat. The cooked mutton will work? I thought you guys said the cooked mutton only works on Thylas. We're going to get 56 levels on top of this guy. Raw mutton, mutton is best. So I could use this and it'll tell me what's best. Cook meat, minus 28. Uh, cook prime meat, cook lamb chop. Yeah, so the cooked lamb chop is pretty good. But the raw, yeah, raw prime meat is better. Yeah, raw prime meat is still better than that. So we'll throw that on them. We get this other Rex. Yeah, raw prime meat was still better than cooked mutton. Granted, yeah, this might not be the greatest rep, but this is definitely one of the higher lex, uh, higher higher level ones. Um, but I don't. I think my other one was also a female. Yeah, melee damage 150. It's pretty low. Um, it's got okay health, 4k health. Stamina. Still seems relatively low, though. to prime meat in there, yeah. So yeah, the, this is actually, uh, Carnal Island's not a bad place yet to come for Rex's. 
depending on how fast these respawn rates go, this one's gonna, this is Ed Bob's uh, Rex here. Eighty-six percent. Yeah, so it's almost tame. Yeah, that. The, yeah, the, you guys are right though. The raw prime meat. That shit's great. I couldn't even imagine raw mutton. Build a base here. I should have probably brought, dropped, brought a sleeping bag for this spot. Would have been. I don't know about building a base. I guess you could probably build one on that little island over there because it doesn't seem like there's too many spawns. It will go higher once it tames. Pre-tame stats. Uh, you can't go by it. Oh, got you, got you. Hundred and seventy chat level one hundred and seventy. So this is this would be a boss Rex, right? You could I could probably boss with this on single player at least. So it's stats yeah, almost three hundred percent melee, six thousand health. That's what I mean. Like, this would be, a like, one of my boss Rexes. I don't see why not. Seems a good level. Because that's going to be over level 200, right? Like, well over level 200. And the guy, the video I seen of the guy talking about boss fights, he had, he, all his dinosaurs were level 225, I think he said they were. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll transfer that on there. That bird that landed behind you is a pelagornis. When you eat penguins with it, they get tons of organic polymer, but their weight sucks. Carry with RG. Got you, Val. Thank you for the super chat. I do appreciate that. Yeah, I'll only be doing the difficulty, the bosses on the lowest difficulty chat. It's more of an experience thing than a challenge thing. Like, I, I want to play other maps, you know what I mean? Like, if I was only trying to grind out the island, like, yeah, maybe I would, like, try to beat all the bosses on the highest. If, no, but we're just, we're just trying to experience the content, not necessarily be, like, the arc, you know, goat or anything like that. We're just, we're just trying to see what the game has. You know, I just I just want to experience the boss fights. Not even necessarily beat the boss fights, just experience them. Up 60 RG 15 15 Is this the cave entrance here? No. Where the rock was shaped looked like it was might have been a cave. It might be over here. Okay, we got some Rexes over there. A 105 male. There it is, chat. We beat the game. So I got to get rid of the 15 mail.
only want to kill the weak one first. Oh, why you really had a shit right then and there, dude. Fifteen is down. That's not what we want. Seriously? Adam? Yeah, it does go up pretty quick. Three, four, five, two, three, four. See, it seems like about three seconds. Dart's done. By the time the gun's done with like its reload animation, it's three, it's about three seconds. Two, three, four. Okay. Samuel with the super chat. Thank you so much. Uh, you must beat all the four bosses to complete the first map, so you can go to Scorcher. Well, Samuel, it just depends on timing, dude. Um, like, if I actually need 30 T-Rexes and all this other crap, you know what I mean? Then it's gonna be... I'll be playing Island for months and months and months, and... People will be, I think, feel like lose interest before I even get a chance to uh, do it because I'm a, I'm a noob. Damn, level harder than 15 freaking RG. Now, the only issue, chat. Oh, I do. I was like, please. I, I, I was like, I, I don't think I brought my third uh, 
cryo. Uh, but yeah, that's the that's the hardest part um, when it comes to like bossing. If I actually have to sit here and breed thirty perfect T Rexes and and it, like that shit will take forever, chat. You know what I mean? But I think that's why the uh, single player stats are like they are because um, it makes it so I don't have to be so perfect. But now that I have this Rex, um. I can now mate my Rexes. Um, and this is this is what we needed, chat. This is really what we needed. What was the level of my other female? Wasn't she at like uh, like uh, she was damn near a hundred? Well, the problem was I would have loved to breed it. Like, ch chat, like, breeding was the goal this whole time, but I have had such a hard time finding high-level male Rexes. We, we got our female, and then every male we would find was, like, 20 and lower. Um, did that RG hit the Rex? I don't believe so. I think I killed it before it had the chance to. Yeah, it's tame and effective is 99.9%, .9%, so it should be good. Plus 52 levels. No, it's nice though. I, I really am super happy about this point. Like this was this was goals, chat. No, but I have two tech rexes now. I have I, I but I think the other one is also a female. Um I don't think it's a male. No, the Rex didn't get hit. No, he's still at ninety nine percent tame and effectiveness. That, is that thing going to attack him? Oh, okay. Well, you never... <laughs> you can never be too careful, dude. He's almost tamed. He should get up any second now. One fifty seven. Oh, let me hold on, hold on. Let me check his stats real quick. Uh, three twenty eight. Good help. This one's actually better than the Tech Rex we got. Chat. Uh, the base stats are better than the Tech Rex.
All right, so um, we might be back. Thylus pretty fast. Even in the water, the Thylus pretty fast. I was like, ah, oh, should I use the Thyla to go back, or should should I use the Spino? I think we'll use him. I would go. I see the cave entrance now, chat. I would try that cave, but I don't want to risk losing this damn dino. Uh, we'll get him back. I might even try my hand at some breeding. I have two Tech Rexes now, but I think they're both females. Uh, but we'll definitely be coming back here. This place is not hard to get to, obviously, as you guys seen. And then... Uh, we know we can get good Rexes here, but... The only thing we really need to try for now, I believe, is a male tech rex. If my other one is a free, um, if my other one is a female, Surprise how fast the Thyla is in the water. Priscilla is a female. Yeah, that sucks then. We got two female Tech Rexes. Level 120 Raptor. Wild Giga is stronger than some bosses. Really? <laughs> Five level twenty. What am I taming next? So we got our Rex. What the fuck was that? They have micro raptors. Those things are so annoying, chat. Um, we got our the Rex. I, I gotta say. That was like our main goal. Uh, a higher level Thyla would be amazing. Something I could cave with. And obviously I, I would still want to get the Baryonyx. But I could settle with this Rex right now because we can at least start building our T-Rex army. Fog is freaking... We can't even find a Giga. Yeah, we've tried. Yeah, we, we went around for a while. Is this another cave chat? No. Uh, yeah, we went around looking for a Giga. Uh, we spent probably uh, well, a while. An hour or two just flying around looking for one and never were able to find one. 
They're rare spawns, I guess. So if anything, we're probably gonna have to either A, we'll just come across one eventually, or B, we'll see one on another map. And uh, I do want to thank you all for over 700 likes on the stream. I really do appreciate it. Purple drop down that way. You guys said red drops are the best, right? Those purple, gold, then red? Or is it red, gold, then purple? So is a sheep. Red, red is the highest level. Okay. Is that not a sheep chat? I don't think I got any mutton from that. Sarko's attack Thylas. Like, what do I got to worry about attacking me in, in the swamps if I'm on a Thyla? Except these stupid annoying ass birds. Oh, everything will attack a Thyla? God. Coming, bro. I knew it. Oh, those are the monkey dudes that you guys said were really good at get uh, for one of the bosses or something like that. Forty three mount. What the fuck? Yeah, I love the Thylas. If I could get a higher level one, that, that would be super, super clutch.
Like, they're just so fun to traverse the map with. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Oh, I'm on the south part of the... Okay, I went too far south. Got it. We're, we're, we're still good. We can still go this way. I think I went too far south. Samuel, thank you so much for the suit. Super chat uh, the, for the Broodmother boss, best dinos. Three mega theriums. Gets a bug with buff when killing bugs. It's funny because you guys say Broodmother, and I, I just think about the Broodmother from, uh, uh, what should we call it? Uh, grounded. Oh, now that we're on an arc stream, I can I can I can say this to you guys and and there it is. There's the redwoods. Okay. Yeah, I went too far south on that one part. Um, I mentioned this in the the other day on on another stream just to give people an idea that one day I am gonna mess around and try it. But one day, chat, I am going to load up on a arc official server. Just to see what it's like. I'm not going to be playing on it like for real, for real. You know what I mean? Um, it's just going to be to mess around and, and just see what it's like. Just for, yeah, just for the lols. You know what I mean? Um, and, uh, you know, if, at that point, if anybody does want to uh, to join it, then they can. I'm not entirely sure how Ferrazinosaurus populates it is surprisingly slow for its size. It's but yeah, we're just doing it for the lols. So no pack to back up. Pretty sure it's going to be an awful time, but... That its sheer power rivals Tyrannosaurus is the only thing that allows this very impressive medium-sized predator to thrive. The claws of Therizinosaurus are some of the most versatile tools I've encountered. As adept at removing trees from Therizinosaurus Park, as they are at piercing the thick shells and hide of the island's most defensive creatures. It was my Thyla Max Thoucha? Tamed Therizinosaurus is one of the most versatile mounts a survivor can have. It can be trained to use its claws brutally or delicately, allowing the rider to primarily harvest with enhanced efficiency <laughs> more than makes up for its inability to carry the large loads of the island's many herbivorous species. That's a 95. Would you guys say he's good? help does that thing have, dude?
there it is. Yeah, the only thing is I need fish meat, don't I? the fish over here. Team. Hopefully, I didn't do too much to him. Oof, still only gonna get 11 levels, but still better than no fucking Baryonyx. Let it wake up. Much. The only thing is, he's gonna be asleep for a while, though. They wake up fast? Damn, he almost ate all that meat anyways. That's fine, chat. You know what? I don't, it's fine. I won't even tame him. I'll just let him wake up and on his own. And we know we're... I'm not even going to waste my time. Cause I, I don't even have a, a ball to suck him up in anyways. Yeah, we're not going to waste our time on that. Like a lot of you guys said, it's probably... It's we're gonna, we want that for caves. You know what I mean? So we're going to want it to be a, a pretty damn high level. We went in that one cave chat and there was like level 400 shit in there. We haven't done a cave yet. We did well. We did one last episode, or not last episode, but there's a file on that tree. Only level ten. That one's level ten. Sarcos are savages, chat. Yeah, when I when we actually go to hunt a Baryonyx to tame. We'll make sure we have a good amount of fish on us. We know that they spawn over near where our trap actually is. Um, so we could probably get because they for some you guys say they spawned in the in the in the swamp, but they also were spawning down on that river. I still have not been able to find a high level one of these.
That's so sick. So type a F in the chat. I just want to see how many other people are on, on Team Thyla. If the Thyla is one of your favorite teams in the game. That's a lot of that's a lot of team dialer chat. Dialo forever. <laughs> Damn, that's a lot yeah, there it is, chat. Yeah, female, female, and female. Okay. So, let's figure this out, Chad. So we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna make a couple extra wreck saddles. Actually, no, yeah, yeah, no, no, we'll just, we'll just use it like this. Um, I would like to have a little pen to do this, but it is what it is, Chad. We'll just make do with what we got. Honestly, we could probably break this down. You know what I, you know what I mean? Mate, the Rex is in here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They really don't need it. Yeah. Nothing's gonna attack the T Rex, right? Go ahead. Throw this baby on here. I guess we could just do it right here in the. You know what? We'll do it here in the back. Okay. Maybe I'll build. I'll build a. Maybe I'll build a an extension back here. You know what I mean? Alright, and then... Yeah. Nope, I think that's the tech rex. Yep. So that's our other tech. We got a lot of rexes, Jeff. This one. Okay, so this is the 157 male and then the 105 female. Okay. Um Behavior, enable mating, behavior, oh. behavior, enable mating. Okay, so now they got the heart. Buying glass then? What would it say? We're just waiting for the egg. Well, the white female was um, was a super low level. I thought you guys said the you, I don't want to do the low levels. 
Oh, check the time. We're. I don't. I don't even see the. I, I got pretty fast taming times or uh, breeding times. I think. I think I redid the settings on Steam at least. <laughs> Go closer. Oh, mating. Oh, I see, I see. Mating 76%, 77%. There it is. I see, I see. Man, they're really going at it for a while here, chat. Fertilized Rex egg. Alright. So what do we just pat well oh, let's put it down. The, the the raptor eggs I didn't have to do anything with. Let me see, do I have to egg health? It's too cold. Okay, so we gotta warm this one up. Um, now, will these will these work? Yep, that works. Nope, says it's still too cold. I think I should do like some campfires for this. Uh, let me see. I don't have any freaking wood, do I, chat? Here we, we, we got, we've got thatch here. Push, push, push. Turn all four of them on. We gotta close the door, maybe? Okay, so that one's good. It says it's incubating six minutes. About six minutes before that hatches. And I'm good to leave it, right? I don't have to. I don't have to like stand here and hover over it. Oh. Yeah. Well, we got. I got. I got meat that we could feed it. I got. I got plenty of meat on right here that we could give it. Uh, let's go empty out my inventory really quick. So we still got a while to wait on that. Let's go ahead and get everything squared away. Oh shit, I also gotta check if the... Are they gonna have more babies back here? No, okay. Ready to mate in one hour. So I, they, they only mate every hour. That was one of the, the times I didn't change. Because um, my dinos mate really, really fast already. Or, the, like, you know, the whole process is sped up. Um, but the one time I didn't change that the video told me to change uh, was the interval in between, um, like, how often they can mate. So I didn't change that because I was like, oh, that's kind of... That, or I, I changed it only a little bit. Because the dude was like, oh, yeah, you can get it to where the, you can mate, like, every like couple minutes or whatever i mean an hour is a long time i might change it to like every like 30 40 minutes or something like that but um 
I just didn't want to be able to pop them out. Like, you know what I mean? I, I did want it to feel a little immersive and, and realistic, you know what I mean? But not super, super grindy, you know, where I have to wait seven, ten days or whatever for them to be able to do it again. But I felt I feel like the hour was was solid, you know what I mean? Yeah, it is a long time on stream, honestly, but uh like that's what I'm saying. We'll we'll figure this out depending on how many Rexes I need. Uh I, I probably might need to increase it. Uh because yeah, on single player the, the timer does stop. GG. Need 20 Rexes? Yeah, 20 Rexes, 20 hours. That is quite a long time. Hold on. I mean, I could check the... What, what setting is it, chat? Uh... What is the name of that setting? Does anybody know? So I have the egg, egg lay interval, poop interval. Well, wait, wait. Uh, let me see. Is it is it just called mating interval? Yeah, I have that shit pretty. Lower numbers decrease in a yeah, so we got it at point one five. I think the guy told me to put it at like point one. Um so Yeah, he said that that's what the video said. The video said zero point zero zero one. We'll we'll try uh We'll try point zero five. We'll see what that does. We'll see what that looks like. Hoop interval nine thousand. Yo, it's crazy how. For Rexus takes two minutes at point zero 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 one. Never set your poop. So what happens if you set your poop interval to zero? You, you get backed up. Constipation. All right, three minutes on that. Hell yes. I'm excited. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm about to be a father. Oh, you poop. You just nonstop poop. <laughs> Shit flinging everywhere. Ready to mate in 16. I mean, that's still quite a while, yeah. No, that's one what? No. Yeah, so we'll see what we will see. Hold on. We'll do it, chat. I know what number will be perfect. Mating interval. There it is. That's going to be perfect. Yo, I'm going to lose that otter one day. I'm telling you, chat. It's going to happen. That Okay, that was not it, chat. Didn't, it didn't change it that much. It's 11 minutes still. All right. Let's go watch this egg. Two and a half minutes. Yeah, I got an otter. It was actually a pain in the ass, chat. It was actually a pain in the ass. Um, it, it, it was. We were getting ate by piranhas. It, it was. It was a mess. 
It was a mess. I could, I could. Yeah, let's see. Does he have any levels? Lots of them. How big is this baby Rex going to be? This is a really big egg. Melee? Why would I put points into melee? melee equals insulation oh okay well yeah going forward I guess we don't have to I mean he's got a lot of levels that we can throw into him chat so one minute uh, that's not my hair that you're seeing there yeah that that's the uh that's the ghillie suit But I'm not going to make no nanny, chat. What, what do you mean, make a nanny? What's a nanny? Okay, so we got 300 meat here. Imprints and raises babies for us. Uh, well, my, 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 uh, I don't know how long the raising period's gonna be. We're gonna, we're gonna check it here. All right, he's about to hatch, and welcome. Damn, he's looking a little, little dude. All right, level 122 chat. Can I give him... Well, I don't think it matters, right? He wants care in, in, in eight minutes. Okay, so let's get him outside. Come outside, little dude. Put the following distance to the lowest. Options. Where is following distance? Behavior. Following distance. Lowest. Got it. Yeah, that's too. That's dope. Okay. So I'm gonna stop following us right now. He's got plenty of food. Um, he's growing, so he needs care in about seven minutes. And once he becomes a juvenile, that's when he eats out the trough, right? Yeah, so he's eating the food right now. Let me see his base stats. 5,000 health, 313 um, base melee damage. That's not bad, chat. That's not bad. Yeah, and they, they still got a while before they'll pop out another egg, right? Yeah, another six minutes. So by the time this one's ready to go off on his own, they'll be popping out more another egg. 
Now, the only thing we're not going to be able to do is, uh, um, if he needs kibble, right? But then I know some of you guys said if I suck him up into the ball and put him back down, then, uh, that means, does it reset it? It re-rolls. Okay, good. Got it. Yeah, Matthew, I'm the same way, man. I can't wait to see this giga, right? The Oh, I got all this uh, prime meat on me, too. That's for oh, that spoils. Not that. Uh, we'll throw this, this, this. Organic Palmer. Put that in there. Put that in there. Yeah, I forgot. Eventually, I'm going to be moving everything upstairs, so... Or, all, all, all my, like, crafting stuff. Okay, so he can eat on his own. Now, uh, I do want to make sure that this trough has meat in it. Now that all my carnivores are out, they're probably freaking destroying this. Yeah, there's only 17 meat left in there. I might have to go out and farm some really quick. Hundred here, but uh, actually, we'll go out and farm some really quick. No, I got a thousand right there. All right, GG. Now, that should hold everybody over for a little bit. So two minutes on that. Would you guys say though my base is pretty safe from most dinosaur attacks with like this? I probably don't have to really worry about much. I like this purple tech. This purple tech is so sick looking. Ed Bob is the standard. little this dude is. Alright, minute and a half, and then these dudes should be popping out another egg here soon, too. Oh, there, there it is. Um, okay, so this one wasn't... That was just a normal egg. Ready to mate in a minute and a half. So this one I could just, like, eat for breakfast, I guess? Save it for kibble, gotcha. It's 
So when it says ready for care, wants care, that's where that's the imprint, right? To 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 level it up or whatever to give it more um, stats. And how do you check for mutations? I forgot how to do that. Don't you got to check? Like, there's a show ancestor. Random mutation. So this one doesn't have any mutations, right? And uh, I do want to thank you guys for over 800 likes on the stream. I really do appreciate that. Okay, so now Rex wants to go on a walk with me. So I just follow? Come on, bud. Was that it? That was the first bit? Alright, cool. Let's get him back over here. He's gonna want more imprinting in another seven minutes. Or, yeah, eight minutes. Alright, let's go check this other egg. It should be mating, right? Yep. Perfect, chat. This is working out. This is working out good. We're popping out Rexes. Now he's only at 25%. So I, I, I'll be able to imprint him a couple times throughout his... Uh, Is like stages as a as a youngin. Three more times. Okay, okay. Yeah, he's already getting bigger, chat. Look at him. Scale on the this this one's feet are looks so dope with the coloring. It looks like it almost has like a like a uh, you know how some of the uh, indigenous tribes and stuff like that they have the white paint on them and stuff like that. that's what it reminds me of. And they're about to pop out the egg. Got another baby. I'm pretty sure, you know, eventually the manual imprint gets old, but the thing is I wanted to experience it that way. I don't want to automate it right away. You know what I mean? I want, I want to see what it's like, know what's going on um, before I go ahead and automate it. You know what I mean? Uh, and then once I get my fill and I'm like, okay, yeah, you know, let's, let's get this turned out. That way I can go do other things while this whole process can still happen. Then I'll then I would go ahead and, and, and maybe automate it a little bit more, but nothing like raising your first couple babies, you know what I mean? Like I guess I know it's probably not the most interesting thing to watch, but I could at the same time I could probably now that I I have a couple minutes, um I need to come up with crafting those shotgun shells, chat. Uh, or this chemist bench, yeah the chemistry bench here. So I need to get me some crystal, uh, the electronics. Okay.
Uh, I, was, I was planning on working on this today anyways, so get this going. Uh, we got all the spark powder last episode. Or the stuff to start getting spark powder. Uh, we need metal ingots. metal in there. How many do we need? Yeah, we got more than enough. Then we need polymers. 250 polymers. That I don't have currently, and I know we're going to need to make more. Uh, but I think I'm out of obsidian, right? Yeah, I, I don't think I have any more obsidian. Yeah, so we're going to we're gonna have to go on a little obsidian run to get the rest of those polymers. Um, or we could have done the organic polymers, but I'd have to go up to the uh, the snow biome, right, to get those. So we've got three minutes left on that. Three minutes-ish left on that. Okay, cool. And these guys won't pop out another one. I think I'll probably have them do one more egg before we turn off mating. Yeah, and they're, they're going to do it in about five minutes. Oh, well, I need, need water. You can pull resources from the thing up top. I thought I did unlock the S plus chemistry station. Yeah, I do. I did. I don't know why it's not showing on here, though. That's weird. This was the S plus fabricator though. I'm pretty sure. How is that? Oh, that's where I can pull the stuff. Oh, this is just a regular one? So I gotta, I gotta break this. I, I, I literally, chat, listen. No bullshit. Before I started the stream, I broke down. There's a converter. Understandable, but if they throw triplets at you, that nanny will come in handy. Throw triplets at me, Mrs. Demark. What are you saying? There's a converter. Uh, let's see. Okay, here it is, the converter. I gotta learn the engram for it. Converter. Iber thatch wood. Alright, let's see. Wants to be hand fed. Um, a marberry? What is that? What the fuck is that? Do I have those? Ah, uh, okay. Thirty seconds. Why does he want berries? So one wasn't enough.
Chat, how many does he want? Okay, I got a, I got a zero slot. It got gotcha. you. Yeah, another Rex there. Shit's happening, chat. Shit's happening. All right, let's see. Uh, Got it. Okay, you come here. Stop it. Stop it. We're not playing this game. Hey, hey it's all good. How was that? <laughs> we want these little, we want these dudes on passive. So he's halfway. Oh, shit. And these two try to get into the fight, too. That's the thing, Jet. The squad... The squad gets it in chat, and they all try to fight. I don't even know how that happened. Like, what was that dino that came in here that was... Why do they keep remating? I think they might just be a little bit too far apart. Yeah, I'm going to have to reorganize my dinos here. I wonder why Rex just had a saddle on him. I never put my Rex saddle back on my... Oh, no, I actually stored it. Yeah, but they were already at, like, 40% mating, and then and then it went back down to zero. Uh... Where the hell did that saddle go I just had? just had a wreck saddle. Or 
or not. Oh, there's the egg. Okay, so I'm going to turn off mating now. Now I only have to turn the mating off of, of that one, right? And it's good. Perfect. All right, so I have no idea where the hell my Rex saddle went. Might have put it on my Thyla. Nope. Yeah, I, I don't know how my... I, I did have them all on pass... Well, not, not these ones, because these ones are generally in the... Uh, the balls. I don't understand. Sometimes the whistle works, then sometimes it just doesn't do anything. Four minutes. This little dude might want to imprint. Care in one minute, and this one wants care in one minute. So both of them want care in a minute. <whistles> Fuck, are they going? those two also so I'll put my mating rexes up okay this one wants the imprint wants to cuddle with me easy crap and this one wants to go on a walk
Dude, why won't he go neutral, chat? It's like weird. It's like sometimes they do what you tell them to do with the whistle, and then other times they just do not respond to the whistle whatsoever. Then you gotta actually like physically go in here and change it. So I'm going to have to make another wreck saddle because mine is uh, big gone. For whatever reason. Alright, let's see. So the wreck saddle... need metal. Now you guys said I could pull metal, right? Metal. Good work, chat. Oh, I'll figure that out. I'll probably watch a video on how that shit actually works. Probably make multiple wreck saddles at some point. Right now we're just gonna do the one so I can just move these dinos around. Oh you have no metal, only ink. Oh, it only pulls from S plus yeah, I don't have any S plus structures. So that that could be why. Um, that's where you settle is in one of the storage upstairs. There she is. Chat told you the saddle is in one of the storage Mr. Upstairs. Mark, thank you for the soup, brother. There she is, chap. At least now we got two wreck saddles, right? This one's level 143, chat. That one was 141. I didn't even realize how level these guys were base. So this is a female 143, and this is a male 141. So I got two bases that are high level right there, chat. So now if I take those two bases that are level, could they potentially make babies that are even higher level than them? And that's how we can that's how we can grind up and, and, and start pumping out some really high level Rexes.
Three, four, almost 7,000 health base. Uh, you got four, got two disabled active group from your rap. Oh! I forgot about that group stuff. How do I get rid of that? There we go. Um, but Jorge, thank you for the super chat, man. And Matthew, no way, brother. You did not have to do that, man. That is, you did 50 just the other day, brother. 20 more gifted members to the channel. Um, I, holy crap, brother. Everybody who receives one of the um, memberships, make sure you get those hearts in the chat from Matthew out here showing love. Dude, seriously, thank you. Now, even if I have my Rexes on passive... The um nothing will really attack them, right? Because of their uh because they're Rexes, obviously. Yeah, this male is 157. Yeah, so this male is definitely t uh, way higher. Uh, I see what you're saying. So yeah, technically, I for some reason I thought this male was only 120 something. Um. Yeah, we shouldn't have to worry about Spinos and Gigas where I am currently, right? So they're on, he's on passive. Oh, I gotta check my babies for imprints. Here we go. Uh, wants to go for a walk with me. Does that does that mean that imprinting is done? How the hell did this one get over here? I didn't how did this one get on Why were you on follow there? Stay still. All right. So I'm going to keep the mating ones back here. I'm going to probably switch this one out though with that higher level female actually. So many damn T-Rex is over here, chat. It's crazy. What other uh, level 140 female levels up? That That's the one I'm going to switch. It's kind of gross, though, isn't it, chat? What is important in breeding is checking to see if the baby got the highest HP melee stat from parents. After that comes mutations. Look for a guide. Uh... Uro food, thank you so much for this super chat. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, this the mating stuff definitely seems uh, coming chat. Definitely seems super, super in depth. And Balti with the super chat, brother. Thank you so much. All right, so we're gonna we'll leave this one here. Um, let me see behavior. Just leave it on neutral. Okay, so this one wants to go for a walk. Oh, 
awesome. Go walk back this way. Come on. This little dude's gonna need to care in about a minute. So this one's all done, right, with the care? It's almost gonna be grown here soon. So can, how do you know what it imprinted on it? Like, like it says imprinting 100%. Um, what, what, what does that mean? Like, what, what do I get from it imprinting? Like, does it just give it, like, extra stats? You're right, it has more stats. Okay, got you, got you. Got a, I feel like a, there's a lot of aggression around here, chat. Got this uh, alpha tri trike over here. I was gonna eat him, but oh wait! So I don't want it to accidentally like bump one of my babies. Uh, Remix, I appreciate the sub. Thirty percent extra stat. Oh man, that's good. So that means this dude. What are you full? Yep, there he is. So he's full grown. Three sixty, three seventy six. Weight's almost a thousand. And that's a base 122 male. So, I mean, on, if we wanted to, chat, we could have like multiple Rexes. Uh, prime fish meat. Yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna suck him back up, right? That's how we do this. So, suck him up. Put him back. Wants to cuddle with me. Too easy, chat. There it is. But honestly, we probably have like multiple uh, dinos. Uh, making babies. Is this thing really trying to attack me, dude? Kill this prime now. Oh, alpha. There it is, chat. Yo, we're, we're, I mean, 
this is, I, I feel like this is good, chat. This is good. Now, if I take all of these Rexes, right, and I get them leveled up to like, because each of them are probably, you know, going to be about 150. I can get all of these Rexes up to almost level 250. That That's, and like I said, that, that guy that was talking about boss fights, he went in there with Rexes that were only level 225 base. Like, he just spawned them in. With the with the cheats, went in there with Rex's 225 base riding a UD, and he said that was all he needed, and he only had like seven Rexes. So I feel like if I level these dudes up. If I level these dudes up to level 250 and I go in there, I feel like we should be able to maybe do a beta boss or the or the, gamp, the lowest level boss. We're going to try it, though, chat. We're going to try. But I'm not only going to go in with Rexes because you guys said the because I think the first boss was green, right? The green tower. And I think that, that was the Remember we found that book that was talking about the big spider. Um, so that might be the big spider boss. And I think with the big spider boss. You guys were talking about me potentially using knees. Yeah, actually, door this. I'll get like, I'll go in there with like five Rexes, maybe like four or five Rexes, right? Get myself a UD, and then we'll get like three or four of these dudes too. Our dude is level 95, which is not bad. But he won't... I don't think he'll be strong enough. Now, when you bring these dudes in, do you, do you want to, like, stack these dudes with health or something? Uh, Chris with the Super Chat. Thank you so much. Yo, I actually, I actually wanted to check that game out, man, at some point. Yeah, so I was going to bring in, like, five or six Rexes... Like, as high as I could get them, um, you know, Tech Rex, bunch of these dudes, or maybe even our Spino, um, and then grab, like, maybe, like, four of these dudes, as high level as we can get. And get them dudes leveled up, too. And I feel like we'll be, we'll be doing pretty good, chat. And I, I get myself a UD. And we'll go try our first boss here soon. I am going to have to level up the Rexes, though. That's going to take a little bit, obviously. Because um, we're going to have to go out and just farm with them. But it shouldn't, it shouldn't be that much of a big deal, right? All right, three minutes on that, dude. This guy is ready. Let's go for a walk. Yo, Todd, I like pizza, too, bro. It's actually one of my favorite foods. Don't do it. You are on attacking my target. Did you get your imprint? I think he did. All right, so one more imprint on th that one. So what would you guys think would be better then? If I a UD, uh, a UD or or the uh, the pig, which one do you think would be more effective? The healing pig or the UD's damage bonus? Both.
Oh, so I don't have to be riding it to activate it? Mm, that's gonna be crazy. All right, man. We're gonna we're gonna try to get ourselves a high level UD. I feel like getting the UD is gonna be way easier though, because there are so many of them up north, chat. Like so many of them. Okay, so this one, five more minutes, uh, and that'll be the last imprint. This one, 30 seconds. I already have a legion of T-Rexes. <laughs> Yeah, the RG can carry the pig. Yep. Aw, oh, Steve, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, the Udis have the Al the Al the the Allosaurus packs, right? I might go there on my, uh, my Thyla, nuke down the alleys, and then, um, catch the UD. Yeah, that would actually, or Carnos. I feel like my Thyla will be okay. Maybe. Alright, so, there we go. Let's go for a walk. Dude, the father was a lighter colored Rex, but all these ones are coming out looking like the mother. With the cool freaking uh the cool paint job. So these are the three baby Rexes, as you guys can see, are now gonna be all big there was the mother, the one chat wanted dead. That one's almost mature. This one's gonna need one more uh one more imprint and we're done. We're gonna try to go for a UD chat. Depending on this imprint, maybe I'll, I'll, I might even go try to get one right now. Uh, I might actually need to stock up our meat locker a little bit <laughs> with all these damn carnivores. A lot of dinos coming around my base, which is weird because there's so many Rexes. I don't even know why they would want to be over here. Yeah, the converter. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll get that done.
Oh, jumped way too far. Damn, I dropped a thousand meat in here earlier, chat, and that shit is almost gone already. I should probably check my raptors. They're not, they're not starving, chat. They're good. I got the raptors over there. Straight starving. And he wanted the prime fresh meat too. Suck them back up. Exceptional kibble. Man, this is a picky ass dino, isn't it? Wants to walk with me. Imprint? I think he did. Okay, so this one's gonna want its last imprint in about a minute. This one just got its last imprint, and we're all good to go, chat. Let's go give our raptors some food. Poor dudes. They have all their meat went bad. Oh, they oh, okay. So that's why they weren't starving, though, chat. They all had meat on them. I, I knew that. That's why I wasn't stressing it. Yeah, I, I knew. I knew they had meat on them. wasn't wasn't a big deal. and drop this. Uh, 
good. These will go downstairs. Is that last imprint up? It is. Uh, what do you want? Prime. Yep. Nope. Not happening. This, so this one does have one more. So if we're going up to the snow biome, we're going to need uh, cold weather gear. So I'll switch to my fur armor. I hope my thigh is strong enough to do this. So I got my fur armor here. The, the, these. All right, so we got our armor. Um, I will bring those this time. We got 50 of those. Might actually have to craft some more narco arrows, which is fine. I'll keep this and this That for the UD, that one in our inventory, parachute, arrow, grappling hook. Um, no point in keeping the gun on us because I don't have any uh, darts for it or any shit for it. So we're going to go ahead and craft arrows. Hey, trap him at a figure for the sub. And, uh, guys, I do appreciate 900 likes on the stream. You guys are awesome. Yeah, I might want to get the, uh, I might, well, that's why I'm bringing two things. I mean, we could try to get two UDs, a male and one male, one female. Yeah, I, I got to do the shotgun shell. I was going to do the shotgun, but I got to convert all of my facilities. I'll probably actually do that off stream at some point. Um. Go around and just convert all the facilities real quick. Rexes. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're gonna bring our Thyla. Um, I got my stuff to sleep. Boom, we're gonna make sure. Uh, I'm actually gonna head down to the water. I gotta refill my water really quick.
Got to try out one of the new babies. Well, I'm going to actually, we're going to go on a killing spree with those. Uh, I'll probably put them, I'll cryo them all up. Uh, then we're gonna go to an area and we're just gonna literally just start eating and killing everything in sight. I might even have to, I, the, the snow biome, because honestly the snow biome is a jam-packed with stuff. So I might even bring them up to the snow biome and, uh, just eat everything. But right now I, I, I want to try to get a UD. I don't really want to eat everything in, in sight. Might bring one of them up there with me, maybe. So yeah, this one's what 141. Let's see what the stats are. 8,000 health, almost 400 base melee. Yeah, this one's actually really good. Um. was the... This is a male, right? I want to take the male, because I already have a higher level male. Yeah, so this is the male. We'll take this one. Let him heal up for the next couple minutes while we're waiting for that, uh... Imprint. We got one more imprint we gotta do, chat, and then we're out of here. Make some heal. Yeah, the healing potion. Like I said, I don't even. I don't. I don't think I have the ingredients for those yet. You said I make the healing potions in the in the cooking pot, right? How long do we have? One minute and forty five seconds. Do I stream only on YouTube? Yes, for the most part. I, I was. I used to. I was doing a lot of stuff on Steam. Yeah, I don't even know the recipes for healing potion. Um, but we started doing so much on YouTube that I don't even, I really don't have time to do anything on Twitch, so I, now I just do everything on YouTube for the most part. Yeah, so we'll bring, we'll, we'll uh, or should I level up him first? I think I might want to level this one up first, chat. He's going to be the highest level out of everybody. Yeah, this tech Rex is going to be the real deal, chat. Bail with the super chat. Craft two blank notes, two mind wipes, drink one, put all points into crafting, eat one, chili... What does that do? Craft two blank notes. Two mind wipes. Drink one, put all points into crafting skill. Eat one chili for bonus crafting percent. Make two recipes. Burger 20 raw. Drink 30 meho. Yeah, I I'm not gonna pretend like I even remotely understand what that means. What is that? Is that how you? Is that like a crafting trick? Wait, did he imprint? I think he did. Oh, you can craft your own recipes. Got it, got it, got it. 
All right, let's do this, chat. Uh, we'll take this mail. Mail mate boosted, whatever that means. Make sure I grab a saddle. And other than that, we should be good to go, chat. Actually, let me saddle up this Rex right now, just so I don't have to worry about it later. He's pretty low health, but... Once we get a bunch of meat on him, we'll force feed him once we get up, up uh, into the snow biome. I'm wondering if I should just bring my, one of my fast flyers instead of the Thyla. Yeah, we'll bring one of the fast flyers. The real dudes here. Well, we could bring our Lisa. I just wanted to move fast. What would be the benefit of bringing Lisa, Chet? Because I don't plan on... I plan on flying up there, cryoing up my flyer, and then that's it. Like, I'm not... Yeah, I'm not... I'm not I'm not using the flyers right. Yeah, we'll just bring we'll bring Le uh, Lisa here. Cause this one's wicked fast. Like as you guys can see, like covering the distance. Bear trap also works on Udis. I don't even know if I can craft a bear trap. I gotta look that up. Uh, Saber Slice, how you doing? Okay. So we're gonna be looking for higher level, higher level UDs. Everything else, we're gonna literally eat with our T-Rex. And these are those pig dudes that you guys were talking about, right? Level 30, level 45. Abdul, I get it, man. It's all good. Oh, the fuck you, Jack!
Yo, they were putting in work on the Rex chat. I gotta get this guy's health up. We're gonna have to get a lot of food to feed this dude. Low level Anki. I should probably be checking these Ankies. <laughs> While we're waiting for stamina, we'll eat. Yeah, I'm not. I don't plan on smithing anything up here, Richard. Yeah, we're literally just gonna. We're coming up here to catch a. Uh, we're coming up here to catch a uni, and that's it. I don't plan on spending too much time up here. Benton, what did you put in chat, brother? Uh, put points in, uh, in melee first uh, to help you th uh, kill things faster. Got yeah, I, I don't know why I wanted to get its health up. Yeah, we can we can start focusing on uh, cause yeah, I'm never gonna. 30k health is pretty good. Yeah, we'll start leveling melee now. Could get up to about 10,000 health. Oh, gosh, I love you too. I appreciate it. How are you doing tonight? Yeah, single... Because uh, I know some people are like, why are the dinos so strong? Single player boosts the stats of the individual dinos a little bit compared to uh, online. From what, I, what I've read and from what the videos told me. Uh, it's to make it so it's not as grindy. Because uh, I guess when you do... When, when you do boss fights... Generally, you do them with friends, and it's more people. Uh, so it's not like all on one person. So when you go in there with 20 T-Rexes, you got other people that are also uh, doing that. But uh, the single-player settings just make it a smoother, not 10-year process. No UDs yet, chat.
probably head the other way. I think this cliffside here is gonna have us trapped. Yeah, I mean, I would like to heal it, but the problem is... Is it's just gonna actually... I, I don't even know how long it's gonna take to heal this damn thing. We're just gonna have to keep eating and eating and eating. Yeah, I've tried, chat. I've tried to find Gigas. I've seen it. Yeah, we actually had a quest this stream, too. I flew over it and kind of bumped into it. Uh, Ranger and Blue Rose, thank you guys for the subs. I appreciate it. Is that a- oh, that's the penguin making it. I'm like, what the hell is that noise, chat? Got it. Okay, so now we got the boo boost on our Rex here. Gonna eat everything over here. Was that a 145 mammoth chat? Oh, dumb. oh, there's a UD. Level 5. He's dead. I'm not here for a mammoth, though, chat. Why is this one glowing? We got a mission. We got to stay focused. Damn, that explorer no hooked it up, chat. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to I'm gonna kill that UD. It's only level five. Now UD scale just like everything else, right, chat? Like 150 is anything over 100 is what we're looking for. Okay. All dino scale like that, except gig what gigas scale differently. What is so? What's max level for a giga?
level five. But we're gonna head up this way towards the mountain. Cause I know when we were here last time, I seen a ton of UDs up this way. It's gonna be a little bit of a pain navigating with the wrecks, these damn trees. Oh. So a wild Giga level 150 is OP? Or are, are they all the same? Like a level 1 wild Giga or is the same as like a. I, I don't know. I don't. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start mowing these damn trees. Level 90. We could do better than that. Now we're here. We're, we need it. We need a hundred plus chat. Might go down to that open area. It'll be a little easier for me to uh, actually try to tame the damn thing. Gonna take this Rex actual a year to, to heal up, chat. Let's get our stamina back. Yeah, I figured we'll just we'll just try to get a, a, a stronger one. Oh, you can't just tame a, a UD like a Rex? Well, I planned on using the tree method, chat. If anything. Um We could we could use the tree. Suck ourselves up with the with the grappling hook and just pepper it with the uh from up above. Or I could do it from a mountainside, something like that, you know, where I could get out of reach. The only issue is is if he tries to freaking take off, then we're gonna uh, then I'm gonna be in a little bit of trouble. So oh, that or I might I might do kinda like I did with the T-Rex. The um, but I don't know. I don't know. It, it's gonna be. Can you shoot from the top of a Rex? I don't think I can shoot from on top of a Rex. And thank you guys again, over 950 likes. I really appreciate the support. Not unless you're standing on the saddle, but very high risk of fall. Oh yeah, it'd be sketch.
If I was standing on the staddle, would, would the UD come up and attack me while I'm standing on there? Or would he... 100% anything you knock out will be ate by wolves. Yeah, this, this might be a learning experience coming up here, chat. Healing potion is 20 red berries, 2 narcotics, and water. Ooh. That sounds pretty cheap. Yeah, I, I should have brought the Thyla. Honestly, that would have been a... That would have been probably the best way to get this damn thing. Like, I, could, I can move and maneuver on the Thyla while shooting. So we can come up here for the mega dudes also. I don't have to go all the way to the Redwood. Twenty-five UD. Your Rexes have the worst turn radius ever, chat. <laughs> Ever. What are some dinos you can shoot off the back of chat? Like, can you shoot like like big guys like Rexes? Can you shoot off a UD? That's a freaking mess up there. Holy crap. Seriously? He had my ass pinned up against the rock. About to smack this hole. Come on, dude. So well, that was a uh, level 140 kernel though. Level 15, level 15, level 10, level 2, like everything's so weak.
Uh, the best ones to shoot from the backs are not on this map, except for Thylos. So it's like a thousand percent pretty good melee damage. So I know people were saying before, like they, they were aiming for like two thousand percent. Yeah, we don't have too many more levels uh, on this Rex, though. Uh, you, do you do realize you're never able to floor, full force? I didn't know. I don't know. I didn't know there was a limit, uh, Mr. DeMarco, on like, how much I can uh, force feed. Yeah, I, I was thinking, should we drop a couple points in a stam? Yeah, that imprinting is hitting hard, chat. So, imprints make it so you get bonus stats. That's pretty freaking powerful. Only do stam on the dino you'll ride. 30% 30, 30 is big. That is a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. Uh, when is it uh, division gameplay? Um, what did we play yesterday, chat? I don't know what we played yesterday. Division might be tomorrow, maybe. Yeah, this isn't going to be the the Rex I'm riding into the boss fight. This is just one I'm leveling up for a boss fight. So we'll do this, finish that stack, and now we should be we should be good to go, right? Oop, I didn't want to drop those. Shit. Oh, it's too late now. No way I'm gonna find it in that stack. Twenty five, seriously. Is that a UD down there? Level twenty. And then level ninety is starting to look a little good, chat. <laughs> Terry, thank you so much. I really appreciate this super chat. You can get a tech saddle for the Rex. What does that mean? Uh, the reason why I'm not searching for it in the air is because I wanted to level this. I wanted to level up my Rex. Um, so that that's why I'm I'm doing this. X saddle. I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh, 
Oh, don't need a high level UD. You'll be riding them in a boss fight to and avoid damage. Oh, there's like special crafting tied behind the boss's chat. Oh, that's really dope. I might actually have to fly here in the sec though, because the Rex is looking good stat wise. Level-wise right now. I mean, we are getting bogged down in these trees. I, I'm loving Ark Supreme. Yeah, having a blast with this damn game. I wanted to level up the Rex, that's why I was on the ground with him. This area seems freaking rough, man, to tame in so many trees. red drop up here. Oh, that's cool as hell. Yeah, I didn't I didn't know that there was boss related drop like technology. We're probably going to want that for later maps, right? Jared, thank you for the sub, and uh, more for thank you for the sub. I appreciate it, guys. That's a 75, UD. In a pretty open area, I could probably actually attach to one of those cliff faces. Now, the thing is, is... How will I do this, chat? I gotta kill the Carnos first. Kill everything around first without killing the U the the UD. Okay. Kind of makes it mad though, because we killed that no a level ninety earlier. It was in a bad spot though; it'd have been rough. But still was a freaking level 90. I'm now going for a level 75.
this uh, alpha carnal. I'm like, why does this thing seem so freaking strong? Die chat. It's this damn alpha colonel. Was hoping to hurt the UD enough that it would leave me alone. Okay, awesome. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Stop, stop, stop. is actually kicking the Yudi's ass. really are runners, aren't they, chat?
I had to do it, chat. It was too messy. Too messy. Yeah, the thing is, is if I had a Thyla, my Thyla would be way better because I'd be more mobile. I'd be able to keep up with it a lot easier. Either that or like you guys are saying, we're going to have to build traps. Have to, we got to build some type of contraption either to stop it or throw it, slow it down. Check out Rex's inventory really quick before I. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to drop some shit to fly back. Wow, we got a lot of stuff from the alphas. Yeah, we got some pretty good crossbows from those alphas. I didn't even realize how many alphas we just fought. But I think my crossbow that I still have equipped is better, right? The Because uh, I think I have an ascended crossbow. Let me see here. So this one is 201% weapon damage. This one's 218%. So this one's actually... The journeyman's pretty close to the ascended. I had another ascended? Where? Oh, right up on top. That one's only 212. Too. So yeah, this one I have is still better. 218. Yeah, I need the darts. So what is the... Yeah, I got the sleep darts. What is the next level above those? Yeah, we tried getting a, bar a Baryonyx this episode. We're going to try again next episode. Uh, as we go and level up some more of our, our Rexes. Shocking darts? What are those shot out of? Is there a different weapon? Uh, have you used a net projectile? I haven't used a net projectile yet, no. I mean, I don't. I haven't even seen a net projectile. Oh, we got a regen stem. Explorer notes here. Yeah, so that's a positive. Not that you really need the dinosaurs. 
Cause gets any more intense. Probably just burst into flames on the spot. Sooth. The crit sequence is on. Sifting through Raptor excrement with someone watching is harder than you think. Trying to make the most out of this uh, explorer update or upgrade. The boost. You know what I haven't seen yet, chat? An Alpha Rex. Where can we find an Alpha Rex? I want to I wanna test my, uh... Yeah, that big bird with the big face, or the bird with the big, big face. I'm playing on single player on my own, uh, yeah, my own computer, my own server. And thank you everybody for over a thousand likes on the stream. I really do appreciate it. I'm playing since the game came out, uh, but seeing through your eyes have gotten me through chemotherapy so thank you yeah, all oh, april uh first of all i'm sorry to hear that but the fact that i can even remotely be a little bit of comfort through you uh for you through something like that um i'm, I'm really glad so uh, i hope you start feeling better soon That little bad wolf that I just tried eating. Why is she stuck there? 
We're gonna have to come back for her. Actually, I got an extra cryo. Dude, so we really only lost one raptor out of the kill squad that day we went out, chat. The enemy of the T-Rex threes in turning. Hey, Mr. DeMarc, thank you for hanging out, brother. Let's suck this dude up. my favorite game genre i'd probably have to say survival games yeah yeah if you keep doing laps around carnal island you'll eventually see an alpha rex i feel like carnal island might be the the best place for us to level our dinos chat you know what i mean well we could bring all the rest of our rexes that need to be leveled over there um, kind of just eat everything. There's not a lot of stuff to impede our movements. And then we can also hit the dungeon there. Or the cave. Is this game hard to stay? It was. Uh, Deej, it was, it was really, really hard in the start. Um, well, I mean, it's still hard for me now. But, uh, yeah, once you start learning the systems a little bit. And start getting stuff crafted up. It gets, it gets way easier, but... I wouldn't say easier, it just gets more... You understand more. Really, Judy? Yeah, I got absolutely shredded on our first episode. All right, chat. Well, there it is. We're going to end this episode here, and I thank you guys for over a 1,000 likes on the stream. That is absolutely huge. Um, but, yeah, we got some Rex's bread today. I'm going to take this one and that one and this one and bring them over. Well, no, I think the female we're going to keep here. Which one was the female? This one is going to stay here. Uh, that's going to be our other one that makes babies but these two are going to go to uh carnal island and yeah we're just going to do laps and just start in in our tech rex we're going to bring those four rexes do laps around the island eat everything level them up uh and then like i said i still want to get a higher level thyla we want to get a baryonyx i might start off with a baryonyx next episode but a thyla baryonyx uh, because the high level Thyla is probably going to be the mount I bring into the next map. Uh, but yeah. And of course I just shit. Yeah, that egg there is, uh, not, it's just an eatable egg. Uh, I turned off mating. And then what's, and the cool thing is I'm on single player, so the second I shut down the game, it, it stops. Like, time doesn't continue going. It literally just freezes it in place, so, uh, it's a benefit and a negative at the same time. So thank you guys again uh, for all the support and coming and hanging out. Remember, if you guys are enjoying this art content, the best way to let me know is by smashing that like button. Let me know what you guys thought in the, the comments. Uh, but yeah, we got we got some, we still got our eyes set on a few new dinos we need to tame. Like I said, the Baryonyx. I want to get a higher level Thyla. Um, I want to get a UD. And I want to get my Rexes leveled up. Uh, so... If I can, I, I would like to get a Baryonyx and a Thyla. That way I can level the Thyla and the Baryonyx maybe on Cardo Island also. Uh, but we'll have to see how that goes, chat. We'll have to see how that goes. So again, you guys have a great day. 
Uh, great rest of your night. I really appreciate it. Like I said, we'll be doing some more streams tomorrow. And uh, it's going to be a good time. I don't know what we're playing exactly. What the hell is tomorrow? Uh, I think tomorrow is the division, actually. Yeah, I think tomorrow's the division. Uh, so if you guys are looking forward to that, hey, that's going to be exciting. Uh, but again, thank you, thank you. You guys have a uh, great rest of your night, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.